Hey everybody, Bryce here with Timberframe HQ. In this video, we're going to take a look at our Timberframe layout square, show you how it works, and how it can help you save time and make layout a little bit more accurate for yourself. Let's get into it. Alright guys, first let's talk about the overall features of the square. The first thing you'll notice is, is that it's all in 16.7 inch. It's all laser etched, so it sits all the dimensions sit just below the surface, so you can't scratch them off. The dimensions go all the way around on both sides. The most noticeable thing are these graduations here, similar to the Borderman Square, that'll help lay out uh, mortises and tenons. In those graduations, we have dimensions um, to help lay out pegs and anything else that you that you can find you need those for. Uh, they start, this starts two and a half inches off this edge and this one starts an inch and a half off of this edge. So you can use those as reference to kind of speed things up a little bit. It being 12 inches wide, one of the nice things is that you can pivot it off the edge and quickly get to a 612 plumb cut and seat cut. You can also use the, the dimensions on the inside. So you can go all the way, let's say 33 inches, uh, 33, uh, bleh, 33 degrees right there. Of course you got your, your seat and your plumb. You can go to, um, they start to go in reverse so that you can get your um, your seat and plumb off different lines and that's the same on both sides so you'll see that this this side's designed to be pivoted off this side and this side can be pivoted off that side now going back to these graduations these are at set at a half an inch an inch and a half, two and a half inches off the base. If you flip it over, similar to the Borneman square, you'll see that it's one inch, two inches, and three inches. I've also included these graduations in the middle, these little notches, so that you can simply put your pencil in there and drag it across to get in those quarter inches if you need to. So those are the basic features of the of the square let's get into how to use it so I'm gonna lay out a basic mortise and tenon for you and so we're just gonna start here it's all theoretical so it's gonna be for a, a 10 inch timber so it'd be nine and a half inches we already got two and a half inches so all we gotta do is go to seven and that'll give us nine and a half Draw that line. Now our tenon lays in the middle of this, our mortise, and it's three inches off the reference edge. I'll flip it over, go to three inches, and drag it up, and it's two inches, so one, two, and so there is our mortise. You can see that'll be our line for our housing. So let's go lay out our housing and our pegs. The first thing I'm going to do is transfer my lines from one side to the other. We got a one inch housing. I'm using mill rule so I can just take it off of this side. However, if you're using square rule layout, you'll just take it off of that reference side and put your line right there. Depends on how you're laying it out. For simplicity for the video, I'm keeping it keeping it pretty simple. So pick layout uh, two inches off the housing line for the first line. I just kind of draw a line. The next ones will be so there's two in this one. Put 
two and a half inches, two and a half inches. And you see this of that, and there will be our first peg hole. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of center that up. And these graduations, four being the, the center. And so that'll be our third peg hole. So it's a five inch tenon, two inches wide. So we're gonna start bringing our line across. And it's going to be five inches, so inch and a half plus three and a half gives you five. And our tenon is three inches, three inches up. And so you see, you just take that and cut that line. And so this right here is your tenon. All right, so we're just going to lay out a simple rafter, uh, the, the foot of a rafter. So the roof pitch is going to be on 812, so we just pivoted across. And there's the seat cut. Right there. So we're just going to trace that over all the way to the edge. And then we have a notch here. Let's say it comes back four inches from the tip. And then you just find your 812. There's your seat cut. So if you take this away, you'd, you'd end up with your seat cut and that sits over your plate. All right, that's about it. Let me know if you have any questions about the layout square. You can email me at info at timberframehq.com. And if you're interested in getting one of these layout squares, head to timberframehq.com forward slash layout. Thanks much.